In this demonstration, we look at configuring Active Directory discovery methods. Reasoning behind all of this is we need to get information into System Center Config Manager. We already have a database that's populated with objects. One of the downsides, however, is if we don't look after our Active Directory database, then we may find we have stale records sitting within System Center Config Manager as well. Fortunately, though, there is methods to get around that little issue. So what we'll have a look at is we'll have a look at configuring and running Active Directory System Discovery and also as well configuring and running Active Directory User Discovery. And then finally what we'll do is we'll just have a look at the discovered systems and user resources. We'll come into our Config Manager console and within our Config Manager console we've come to Hierarchy Configuration under the Administration Workspace. What we'll now do is we'll go for Discovery Methods. And within Discovery Methods we'll go for our Active Directory System Discovery. So we'll just double click this. And what we can see up the top here, we have Enable Active Directory System Discovery. As we can see here, we're only discovering currently London clients and London servers. Now what we can do here is we can specify different containers by clicking the little star button, which is new, we can then browse through. And what we'll do here is we'll just scroll this down and we'll just go with our Toronto clients and select OK. Then what we've got, select the option to modify the search behavior so we can recursively search Active Directory child containers so if Toronto clients had any child containers, we could also do a discovery there. So I suppose what we could have done is we could have just done the discovery from adatum.com and then check through all the children as well. What we're not going to do is we're not going to discover objects within the Active Directory groups and we will just use the computer account of the site server. And as it says here, we must have at least read permission to the specified location. So we'll select OK. Then what we'll do is we'll come to our polling schedule. So as we can see here, we're going to do a full discovery because every seven days affected from this date. And then what we've got is we've also got the Delta discovery. And as it says here, finds resources and active direct domain services that are new or modified since the last discovery. So and we'll do that in every five minutes. So let's just change the schedule just to show we can. And all we'll do at this point here is I'll just get this to recur every five days instead. So we'll select OK. Then what we'll do is we come to our Active Directory attributes and as you can see here we can see the Active Directory object attributes are discovered by default but as you can see we can also add in additional attributes as well as part of the discovery. And finally we have our options tab. Now our options tab only discover computers that are logged on to a domain in a given period of time so 90 days and only discover computers that update their computer account password again 90 days. So like I said there is ways around getting around these stale records that you may have in Active Directory. However, all we'll do is we'll just select OK at this point. And then finally, we'll just right click on Active Directory System Discovery and run full discovery now. As it says here, do I want to run it? Yes, I do. And that'll now go away, do a query against Active Directory and return back some objects. We can also do a similar sort of thing with Active Directory User Discovery. So we'll do right click, we'll go to the properties. And on the properties, just on the general page, you can see that we're already searching all utils IT and also as well the container for users. So what we'll do here is we'll just create a new container. We'll click our browse button and what we'll do is we'll actually do it for a datum so that'll search through everything. We will recursively search Active Directory child containers. I'm not too bothered about Active Directory groups and I will use the computer account. So we'll select OK. What we've then got is got our polling schedule. So again, we can decide exactly when the full discovery runs and also when the delta discovery runs. So we'll just select schedule. And again, we'll just change that. Let's change that every three days. And finally, what we have is we have our Active Directory attributes. And what we'll do here is I'll just scroll this down because what I want to do is I also want to add in department. Now that we've done that, we'll select OK. And the advantage of adding these attributes is we can then search against these in a query. So we'll select OK, we'll right click and we'll run the full discovery now and we'll say yes. So now what we'll do is we'll just come to assets and compliance. First thing we'll have a look at is devices and within devices we'll just look at LON CL2 and if we look at LON CL2 here and just scroll this down a little bit on the summary page here we can see information relating to the device itself also as well, if we right click and look at the properties, what we can see here is we can see agent name for the discovery was system or SMS AD system discovery. Pull that across just so we can see discovery agent. And if we do a similar sort of thing against users, 
So we go for users and let's just find the user. Let's just do a search up the top here. Let's look for Don and do a search. So there's Don. So we'll just look at Don's properties. And we can see he was found via SMS AD user discovery. And that's the end of this demonstration of using Active Directory Forest discovery methods to populate our System Center Config Manager users and devices under Assets and Compliance. Thank you.